If you're enjoying this show, there are more episodes available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or whatever else you use to listen to podcasts. The video version is also up on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe! Do we start? It's not. Oh, okay, check. <laughs> welcome to the Wake Up with welcome Jules to the podcast. Wake up to the welcome. Oh my gosh, so tayong na late. Embarrassing. We are recording this on a Wednesday for the first time ever. Ish. Ish. Is, is it? It's episode 18. Yeah. Yay. Hmm. Hi, welcome guys. You are tuned in to Wake Up with Jim and Sab. And today we have a very special episode. A lot of people have been requesting. Welcome to the. Okay, should we just <laughs> dive into it? Because I feel like it's not gonna be. It's gonna be there's long. not gonna be enough time. Okay. Well, it's just. Yeah. So this is um, a master class. Uh huh. On. Prepare. Wedding planning. <laughs> Yeah. Wedding planning. Wedding planning. Wedding planning. This wedding is a wedding no. planning master class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, ano mo tuturo mo? Eh, wala ka namang natulong. Joke lang. Hindi lang naman. Joke lang. So. <laughs> no, I was totally kidding. Sobrang. <laughs> wala siyang natulong. <laughs> Joke lang, you did. What did you do? <laughs> Excuse me. You you took care of our souvenirs. Hindi you did. Yun. Yeah, oh, hindi lang yun. Ano pa? Uh, I helped put some order <laughs> in the chaos. Um, quantify. Documented everything. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so this is the master class. <laughs> okay, the master class. Okay, so first. I prepared actually because okay, since it's a master class, All right. um, I've prepared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've what? what the fuck? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> May angst ka ba or something? Joke lang is just all for entertainment. <laughs> so lesson number one. Okay. okay? <laughs> <laughs> the wedding is just the icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. The real thing that's going to happen and the thing that you really have to actually prepare for is the fucking marriage. Because mm-hmm. we know so many people who spend so much time, effort. money, effort, their emotional quota, they go past their emotional quota. Uh-huh. Meaning, makikipagbakbakan sila na, tapos na yung kasal! Whatever. And all that shit. Because they want the wedding to be perfect. Uh-huh. Which is very, very normal. Diba? It's normal naman. It's natural for people. Uh, oh, oh, na, yes. Okay. I think, it, no, no, it's, it's because of the pressure of yes, society. Y- yun nga. We, <clears throat> we did, before we go there, that's, okay. that's a... Guess I'm not, not talking. Even if I'm the master here. <laughs> <laughs> Union transition to the second one. Okay, okay. okay. But anyway, just the first one. Just tell me when to... Joke lang, joke lang. I'm kidding lang. I'm just like, I like bullying you. Okay, go. Okay, the first one is, yun nga. It's just the icing on the cake. Correct? Icing meaning it's just... Literally, Bonus. ha? Literally, like... Not literally, I guess. But, literally. Um, Parang, it's just the... The decoration. Ooh. The actual cake that you will take home and eat is your marriage. Yeah. So imagine, sobrang sarap ng icing mo. Lasang, lasang... Buttercream. Ish. You're not into, into cake. So what do you think? Lasang about? fudge. As in pure raw fudge. Brownie fudge. Diba? Pero yung pag uwi mo, yung cake, lasang tie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so... Thanks for the visual. <laughs> no, but that's... That is some the help thing. What do you mean? Did you not watch the help? No. Spoiler, sorry. 
Oh, wow. forget I forget I said it. Gumawa ng cake out of shit. Oh my gosh! Well, you know what? It came out years ago, yeah. and you should have watched it. Okay, okay. so <laughs> yon. That's. Do you agree? Yes, of course. Na parang don't get so worked up on. Sobra. The wedding, and of course, it's very natural for you to be mm-hmm. worked up. Because it's ayo din naman eh. Like, yeah, yeah, of course. Honestly, if it was just Sab and I, yeah, we would have said. You know, parang let's we could have said like let's get married you know in um honestly civil lang okay na tayo right niba ni or like maybe like a small church small church malamig family only malamig uh-huh. small church family only and friends yeah at the put ay ginawa natin <laughs> close 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 friends okay um have a good band mm-hmm. have good drinks have good food mm-hmm. And which is pretty yeah, much what, what happened to our wedding. Pero if we are, parang kumbaga, that's the thing. I think. Pero because nga like yun nga, there were you know nagkaroon ng changes from that original plan, especially you. Because mm-hmm. ikaw ikaw si Miss. Gusto ko talaga ginato. Simple lang, ba 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 ba. Which is a, which is very different from most people. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, ako pa nga yung mas hindi ba dapat may thing. Uh-huh. Diba dapat may... So, parang kumbaga... Like, you expected me to pull out a huge... A binder. Binder with my dreams and you know, goals for my wedding. Which, you know what? I which is thought, fine. I thought I would have something like that. But then I was like, wait, what about? Like, wh- I don't have any pegs. I don't have any... Because, one, my parents didn't have a church wedding. Uh, my ate didn't have a church wedding. So, parang wala naman akong basis. I mean... All I've seen are weddings sa mga movies and stuff. Yeah. I'm never invited to any weddings. Are you, are you always a wedding guest? You yeah. love weddings, huh? Oh, uh, it depends. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that okay. later. Tama naman eh. Magaganda naman yung mga sinasabi mo. We're gonna get there. <laughs> I'll just file them away until it's appropriate to talk about weddings. <laughs> <laughs> In the wedding masterclass. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. So, yun. And... Uh, Tayo, diba? when, when we were planning pang our wedding, we were saying like, you know, like what if biglang tumawag na, hey, The Strokes is coming. Mm-hmm. A private show. Kayong dalawa lang. Manunod kayo ng The Strokes. Would we cancel? Would we cancel the, the wedding? And it, we really gave it serious thought talaga. Na parang, yeah. most likely, baka. Yeah. We'll apologize to everyone. <laughs> Or we'll just do a real quick ceremony and then after party at the Strokes concert. Yeah. Yes. That would be great. Ah. <laughs> that, was, that was a hypothetical thing, by the way. The Strokes have not come to Manila. So. so, okay. Is that everything on that topic? I don't know. What's It's up to you, master. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yun. So, that's one. Again, it's fine. Mm-hmm. If that's how... You feel like the wedding is the ano, pero we're. Oh, no, it's no, pro- it's no problem pro- to be crazy about. There's it. no shame in being excited about getting married. Go. Yeah. This is the one time you can be a star. Yes, go. It's all about you. But I mean, m- kind of more towards the bride, I guess. It's just the thing that just give the bride what she wants. But also, bride, take into consideration that it's not just your day. You have to compromise with your. Husband to be, yeah. Because right. pero husband, bigay mo na. Yeah, bigay mo na. Bigay mo na. Bigay mo na. <laughs> so this is the thing. So yes, parang it's fine to be excited and uh-huh. fine to be crazy, but just remember that. Remember the more the more important thing is what you eat, which is the cake. Oh, okay, <laughs> you lost me there. So yun, that's one. Mm-hmm. Number two, as I'm making this up as I go along. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Prepared my ass. Number two, bro, uh, hindi ikaw ang bida. Okay. Oh, that's... Bro. <laughs> I repeat, I repeat. Bro, hindi ikaw yung bida. Okay. What does that mean? Hindi ikaw yung bida. Groom, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Parang, 
Shut the fuck up, dude. Like, <laughs> I feel like you're talking to someone <laughs> specific. Because okay. parang if if your groom is looking to be prettier than you, like if the groom is looking to be prettier than you, to have more airtime than the bride, honestly, is that a problem? I don't know. Is that or baka naman that? Because baka naman that's the dynamic of the relationship. Like, must star yung guy. Annoying. It's annoying. It's fucking it's annoying. annoying. What if it works for them? I guess. I guess. But like... I have a thing. Okay, I get it. This is how to balance it naman. Because mm-hmm. it's unfair naman to say, like, what if what if the guy is as talented as Gary V? Mm-hmm. You'd want Gary V to fucking sing, dance, and do his thing. Yeah. The wedding, mm. right? And, but you know, it, he's dancing for the wife. Yon, that's the difference. Yon. That's the difference. Kaya ako sinasabi, bro, Parang he... Parang papasikat siya sa'yo because oh. you're like, hey man, you're marrying me, me Mr. I love you. Energy. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my moves because I love you. Yeah. This is an expression of my love for you. Yeah. But if it starts off like beaming light and then the song is... Parang ginawang concert, ginawang? Ginawang concert na... Even though it seems that na hindi malang nakaharap sa, sa oh, hindi and, malang <laughs> and then like it's like hey, Miss Angeli. it's a show it's a it's something then that's a problem yeah. so like I remember you sang to me yun nga eh, that's why I, that's why I thought about it eh. kasi parang the whole time we were pre- preparing the wedding of course that's how I express my love I'm not of course I'm not naman gonna balance naman siya because I'm sure like all throughout the whole wedding and reception. Nobody was looking at you because they were looking at me. Which is the right? goal. Which is the goal. It's not the goal. It, well, honestly, that... It was a joke, actually. For those who like and can't see my expressions, it was a joke. But Pero that's what it's meant to be. Kaya, when you ask me, ano bang ginawa mo? Diba? I made sure that the string quartet that played your... You made sure, yeah. Your, bri- your march, bridal march... Bridal march. Was perfect. Yes. Diba? And you... Um, you surprised me with a confetti machine I for did. our first dance. Oh, nga pala. That was very sweet. Oh, nga pala. I didn't think of confetti. Good job. Ganda ng pictures. So, <laughs> yun yung ano ko na, bro, you make the girl shine. So, um, if the choice is um, the girl wants to wear white, she wants to be the only one in white. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you want to wear a fucking white suit, Wear it bukas habang nasa bahay ka. Or pumunta kang... Wait, may mga ganong themed weddings though. Nee, yun, yun, yung point ko is, the theme is fine. Uh-huh. The point is, if the bride says, hey, I want to be the only one in white. I want to uh-huh. look pretty. Uh-huh. There's, it's, it's, it's a problem if the groom is like, ah, gusto ko rin mag white eh. Ah, kung hindi naman okay sa white. If, yeah, parang if the, the wife says, if, of course, if the wife says, hey, I want you to wear white. Uh-huh. You fucking say, you 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 tuck your tail behind your legs and you say yes, ma'am. Before you say yes, ma'am, I think you can say. Ikaw sure na ka. lang, kasi Ay, maganda ka tama, tama. lang. Tama, tama, tama. Sorry. Is this too old-fashioned of us? No, 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 no. Actually, I'm trying. Malinga. It's I'm, a modern I'm, times, though. Like. Yeah, I'm taking it back. Okay. Mali yung <laughs> tuck your tail, whatever. Mali <laughs> naman yun. My point is, if the wife says and you t- discuss and let's say the husband says pero um baby hindi ako bagay sa white mm-hmm. like you know i look like an asshole when mm-hmm. i'm wearing a white suit then wife <laughs> w- woman please compromise ren <laughs> one more time you call me woman <laughs> i'm going to lash out on you so yun parang it's about parang at the end of the day sorry Old fashioned ko, old fashioned. Ang point ko is, uh, ang point ko nga is, in, ako for me, hindi nga yun old fashioned because the wedding is supposed to, of course, it's supposed to highlight your marriage. Pero men, you're not supposed to be pretty. Is this an issue enough for a lot of people that it's like, an, uh, it has its own number? Do, pe- do guys really like the upstage? Sabi, ang dami ko nang napuntang wedding. Na in upstage. Na talagang, bride. ano nangyayari? Like, what if the bride is boring, though? If the bride, <laughs> if the bride is boring, what, what do you mean boring? Like, wala, wala siyang gusto ng kuya ni. 
Mahiya in siya. Oh, sorry. Mahiya. Oh, sige. Okay, perfect sorry. Example. Not boring, but like so shy perfect, and perfect like, doesn't want attention on her. Let's take a break. We just want to talk about Isabel's salads. If you go to www.isabels.ph, you can order their salads. They'll deliver it to your home or office. It's organic. Masarap. Marami siya. Pag dumating, magugulat ka. Wow. Nakabusog. And they can also serve it in wraps. Salad wraps. Parang healthy burrito. Overnight oats, soups. Use the promo code Jim and Sab for a discount. That was that? Yeah, that was that. <clears throat> so I think the point is, um, you know, the mar- the wedding is actually just supposed to, you know, it's to celebrate your new life together mm-hmm. in front of important people in your lives. Mm-hmm. It's not a debut. Mm-hmm. It's not. A big birthday party now. Bro, puta ina, ito yung bote mo, bro. Bote, bote, bote. What is it then? Because I was... <laughs> <clears throat> this whole time, the, I mean, the whole time we were planning it, we made a decision na parang, hey, parang, let's calm down, <clears throat> not give in to pressure. And this is really just a thanksgiving to the people who have supported our love. And it's just a party. That's it. That's very different. From different but but aside from the actual vow with God, yes, everything else is just like party. Bonus. Yeah. To to oh, party. Um, when I say yeah. naman yung bro, bro, uh-huh. bro, it's more of like <laughs> dun lang yung asawa ko ah. <laughs> Kakasal lang namin pero tayo na maglasingan tayo, bro. De ba? It's uh, parang uh, I've seen kasi weddings like that, and also I've seen weddings where the groom is very bro, 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 but also very. Hey, family of the bride. Hey, hi, how are you, miss? Blah, blah, blah. Love you. <laughs> That's very different from putang ina tequila. Sana matulog na yung asawa ko. And, 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 you That's know, you the know what, difference. You know what's so annoying? The jokes about like, la la, less, ano na, wala na. Never do, never na ako pwede lumabas. That's when it's a problem. That's uh, what I'm saying na bro, hindi ka bida. Kasi, there have been weddings. Parang so many, despedida. Parang bachelor parang party. Parang ganon. Exactly. Like, do it at your bachelor party. Yes. Sure. Yes, exactly. Na parang there's this. I'm sure people, the people who are listening, have been to a wedding. You feel it in the air. Eh, na parang why is this guy so fucking? Parang this is my last dance. It's my last chance. Ko parang that's why ako. For me, I really, really don't care if the wedding has this, has that. The food is kahit shaky siyung pagay and or whatever. Kung ano man yung chibog dyan, uh-huh. as long as you feel it in the air, you feel the mm-hmm. couple, every little moment, they're like so happy that, yes, we're married. It doesn't feel like a, bro, bro, bro. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a Saturday night at Ponti. <laughs> Luma ng Ponti. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <Ayan. clears throat> okay, what's number three? Number three is... <laughs> ah, okay. Number three, the most important part of the wedding uh-huh. is the ritual. Uh huh. So whether, so whether which ritual, the ceremony itself. Uh huh. So whether you're Christian, Muslim, or whatever, um, that's the thing that you should actually really Focus prepare. On. Not just for the day itself, but as you plan the wedding. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Parang, remember tayo, like, when, when, when we were gonna get married na, parang, the night before, we were thinking about, like, shit, paano yung ganito, yung string quartet, yung blah, blah, blah. But when we got in the church, like, and daming bloopers, like, una yung um, commentator Choir. namin, uh-huh. hindi yung nagmimisa. <laughs> so, hindi alam paano gawin. Um, She's like, everyone, please be seated. Lop. I thought I was Catholic. Non-practicing, I guess. Uh, the choir. Candy forgot the lyrics. Candy, Atemia, and Cholo. Parang hindi <laughs> nagpractice. So, uh, <laughs> nakalimutan nilang lyrics. So, pero amidst all that chaos. I still remember, yun yung pinaka, yun ang pinaka naalala ko sa wedding. Oh, naman. Sa kasal natin. Of course. Being in a church, and I totally forgot about the people behind us. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, looking at 
the altar. Mm-hmm. And again, whatever whatever um, religion you have, it's just being in the presence of a higher being mm-hmm. and saying, hey, I'm going to be with you forever. Making this a is promise. a promise. So, yun. Anything to add? Um, hmm. Um, ano Okay. Okay. That was substantial. <laughs> Next. As I'm making this up as I go along. Oh, okay, you're making it up naman pala. How come I can't butt in with Anong my... Anong sinabi mo kanina? Paano natin? Hindi ko na maalala. <laughs> uh, ah, things will go wrong. Yeah. That's the thing. Things will go wrong. No matter... Kaya, 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 kaya paulit-ulit kami. The main, main, main thesis of this episode is that the wedding is just the icing on the cake. The marriage mm-hmm. is the most important thing. Yes. And for sure, the wedding, there will there are things that will fuck up mm-hmm. on the wedding day. Right? Yes. Ano yung mga nangyari sa atin? Too many to mention. <clears throat> um, the one that really made me actually the one bridezilla moment. Actually, I had like two bridezilla moments. One was after the church, right after the church. Ano. So happy, happy, picture, picture. A big lang, may pictorial pala, and one pictorial. <laughs> my photo shoot after the church. Yeah. So diba, after church, everyone goes to the um, cocktails. Na. So, pictor- f- f- photo shoot, big lang, wait, kakaiyak ko lang ng sobrang dami sa church. So my makeup was gone. My falsies were gone. And my makeup artist could not be found. He had left the, the, the church. And he went to the freaking cocktails area. <laughs> so there was no time for him to come back, retouch me. And then, so sobrang ako, what are we going to do? In fairness, um, my bridesmaids, they helped me out with whatever makeup they had in their purse. And they didn't have... Yeah, I, didn't, they didn't have I didn't know this happened. They had um, powder and then... Lipstick. My falsies were gone. Don't use individual lashes. Like individual lashes kasi ako. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Which I'd never done before. Eh, syempre, di ako, grabe pa ako umiyak. So, natanggal-tanggal siya. It was just, I was really like, oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, alam mo, if it were just me, I would really just say like, wag na kasi tayo mag-photo shoot eh. Let's just go to the cocktails. Mm. But of course, then you think about it, everyone says, the one thing you should invest in is your photos because you want to remember it. And now, when I see the photos, I'm like, yay, at least we had photos. And I may not have looked my best in my opinion, pero who cares? Okay. Um, and then, <laughs> so after na ng pictorial natin, uh, ride back na to <laughs> the cocktails, the reception area. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> the events coordinator gave me and Jim our assistants each our bag people you know to hold on to our bags and so actually you know, when we found out we're no, like cool wow may ganito yeah cool parang that's what you pay for <laughs> someone someone's gonna hold my shit that's yeah, cool yeah so oh. astig so yun yung the girl na just like hey pa- palagay nito saan yung phone ko ganyan ganyan and then anong tapos na yung photo shoot They're like okay let's go back na <laughs> the events coordinator is like um Yung assistants nyo, wala pala silang ride back to the clubhouse. <laughs> so, we're like, mm, okay. So, pwede makisiksik na lang sa bridal car nyo. <laughs> we're like, mm. uh, ruined the moment in theory. But you know what? Me funny. and Jim, we were giggling on the way back. Because we're like, we are cramped in this yeah, car. Yeah, Sam in her big you know, wedding with the, dress. With the just married. Yeah. <laughs> she Parang, like, this is... Magkatabi mo lang tayo. Magkatabi tayo. Magkatabi tayo. And then there are two people. Yeah. No, no, no. Yung, yung assistant mo na sa harap. Yung huh. assistant ko na sa tabi ko. <laughs> so, parang sobrang laki nung dress ko. Parang... <laughs> Uh, this is romantic. <laughs> and then, so parang, we spent a lot of money to make sure that the cocktails would be fun. Again, we wanted our guests to be fun and I really wanted to hurry up because I wanted to experience it. Yeah. And we didn't. We hindi kami umabot and then the photographers did not take pictures at the cocktails. Siguro like may limang photos from the cocktails there. But it was nice. People said it, it was fun. 
Anyway, tapos yung ano na, reception na, uh, parang may, may hanash, di ba, na mag enter yung entourage. Di ba? Yeah. Uh, parang bridesmaids, mm. and then whatever. Oh, I cannot. So, <laughs> groomsmen, of course, my brothers were late. They were nowhere to be found. So, the coordinator, so, I was having fun talking to my bridesmaids. Like, oh my gosh, yes, ang saya nung ano, photo shoot namin kanina, blah, blah. Parang sila, ha, 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 ha. Biglang yung coordinator, she's like, Arkin! Arkin, Magalona! Arkin! Nasaan si Arkin? Arkin! I just snapped. <laughs> I just snapped. Because in the midst of me, like, you know, gushing with my yeah. girlfriends, like, oh my gosh, I'm saying that so bad. I just snapped. Because her voice was so loud. I didn't know this. And then I super snapped. I said, Ay, wala nga siya eh! There is no shouting at my reception. I swear. Yeah. Sorry for those listening. If sumakit yung tenga nyo, mm-hmm. but I screamed. That was my bridezilla moment. And I'm sorry and to that, that girl. I'm so sorry. But you know, I hadn't eaten. <laughs> I think that. And you were screaming. And also, Arkin, where the heck were you? I think that's the thing. <laughs> Parang you don't realize. You really, toto is na sabi You really won't eat. Yeah. During your wedding. Not because you don't want to. Yeah, it's just because you go from the church, you go to the reception, picture, picture, and then there's an entrance thing, and then while everyone's eating, you have to go around and take pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and marami pang fuck up like konwari that. So ako, I was. Wait lang, before we move. Uh, uh, I just if you're gonna be a wedding coordinator, an event, whatever. Um, yun lang, to avoid, just know, you're not supposed to be screaming. You're not supposed to be. Yeah. And Jim and I were at the church this whole time. And then when we got back to the um, hotel, nag-touch, finally, nag touch na ako with my makeup artist. So you had all this time to figure out where the fuck Arkin was. Mm-hmm. So why are you screaming? Okay. So yun lang. And also, bridesmaids, Please make sure that the bride is not hassled. If there's something wrong that's happening, if Arkin is missing, just pretend it's not happening and just go. She's not gonna notice if her brother's not there. Or if you think if you talk about it beforehand and she it's really important for her to have her brother there and if her, her brother loves her, <laughs> she he would be there. No, but just figure it out on your own and just never let the bride feel that there's something wrong. Okay. Right? Yeah. And Yunya, parang. That's uh, your one job, right? An- an- another please. blooper. Uh-huh. So I made this whole playlist na parang... Kasi there, there's a program, short program. Like my dad's gonna speak, my ganyan, Sab's mom's gonna speak, blah, blah, blah. So I made a playlist na when this person comes in, this mm-hmm. m- song plays. Uh-huh. So why? Like my dad. When my dad comes in, it's gonna be Till There Was You by the, the Beatles. Beatles. Ganyan. Mom is gonna be uh, here, there, and everywhere. Uh-huh. The fucking sound guy... <laughs> Played one fucking, uh, two fucking songs, the whole ceremony, and I kept looking at the the coordinator. Na, uh, ano yari? <laughs> yeah, she made us prepare these. Yeah, songs. so from daming pin prepare na songs and and she that's our one thing, right? Oh well, yes, that's the one thing that I was really anal about. Uh-huh. So like yung isa, like yung dad go. So my dad's gonna give his big speech. The song that was playing was and in Paris. <laughs> So not your dad. Jim's dad is so proper and talagang, you know, a really re- well-respected dude. <laughs> and gave a re- know, Give it up for Mr. Jerry Bacaro. <laughs> like, <clears throat> and his speech was so good. Can I post that on my blog? Yeah. He emailed it to me. Yeah. It's the best speech ever. Also, a note for the... Bride and groom. If someone's gonna make a speech, please don't forget to tell them. Like I did, I forgot to tell my mom that she was gonna give a speech. So there and as in like on the spot, she's like, so, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna say something." Ako naman parang mom. It's a given. But then also, none of her children had been at a church wedding before. That's your fault. That's it completely was your completely fault. my fault. But you know, she winged it and she gave a great speech. Yeah, super. She just kept saying how much she loved me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh <laughs> I just felt so, I was just so stressed for her because I don't oh my gosh like I I 
Yeah. I dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, pero like kung ano? Ito. So when my, when mom came out, it was um. I don't wanna be forgotten, and I don't wanna be reminded. Well, That's bad. pretty cool, yeah. man. Pero pa ulit ulit lang. It was N in Paris, and uh, the strokes. What was that? Change uh, something. Please don't make, make it harder. harder. Whatever happened. Okay, whatever. Whatever happened whatever, by the strokes. Okay, so yon. <laughs> so that's a, a major blooper. Uh-huh. Um, ano pa ba? What else? Um, <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about actual stuff? Like. <laughs> What about my wedding gown? Ah, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. that gosh. was bad. Okay, <laughs> so I changed ako from my wedding gown to my reception dress, um, which was a gift from my good friend who also designed my wedding dress. So I got two dresses in one. Mm. Um, hi Sasa, if you're listening, as if she would listen to this. But uh, so I put it to my reception gown, and then but we only had a little bit of time, so I. Change lang in the handicap bathroom <laughs> beside the reception area, and then the coordinator is like, "Don't worry, we'll just keep it here and we'll lock the door." So I thought, <laughs> okay. So after the whole reception, na everything happened, na and then that was na party party na, and then I had to use the bathroom. <clears throat> so <laughs> walking to the bathroom, I was like, "Wait a minute, why is this door open?" And then I opened it, and there's my wedding gown. Yeah. Inside its box. Opened inside its open box beside the toilet, <laughs> and the toilet was full of piss. And you know, I'm like ninety percent sure my counting tomal six sa wedding gown ko. <laughs> I was really like, but again, but they apologized to me that <laughs> again that is. <laughs> the events coordinator, because in fairness, they're from Baguio and they had only super sweet people. Super sweet people. This sa, sa la kasi yung styling, mas forte na yung styling. Mm. But they said, oh, we can do the coordination on the day itself. So okay, sure. <laughs> and then they emailed me. They super apologized about everything and that they will cease to have <laughs> coordination. Yeah. Yeah. Styling so, na lang sila. I think. <laughs> so, I think actually, marami pang bloopers. Um. But the end, it's the point if, is... It's not as if it was like, oh my gosh, uh, it's ruined. That's the point. Na parang, what, that's what we're saying now. When you're planning your wedding, expect all this shit. Mm-hmm. That's why we're saying that you have to prepare. Like, Back up. Ay parang, kumbaga, the thing that you have to prepare, it's really not, okay na ba yung band? Okay na ba yung ganito? Okay na ba yung ganyan? Um, it has to be like, you work on your dynamic na as a couple. Na like, Okay, this is how we fight. Let's fix this. Mm-hmm. This is how we fight about money. Mm-hmm. Let's fix this. Yeah. So my last thing is, since 33 minutes, let's do a quick rundown na lang. Kasi parang... <clears throat> Can I give tips? Yeah, yun nga. We're gonna do a... <laughs> can't believe I can't talk about my wedding. <laughs> There we are. We are. Okay. Okay, go. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do ano. So, para <laughs> can I just give tips? I want okay, it to arrange okay. day. I don't want it like. Yeah, are you done with your freaking lessons? Should we do a I'll part two, my, ba? I'll go with the tips na nga. Ito na nga. Ano ba? Oh, may it... intro. Okay, fine. Go. Freaking weirdo. Go, go, go. Okay. Um. When preparing for the wedding, okay, what are the? So this is we're done with the master class, okay. So I just want stop. I'm it. Sorry, <laughs> I just want to do a recap. Number one. Bakit may recap pa? Pwede naman nila rewind. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I just, I'll just give my tips. You know what? Can I, can I just <laughs> okay, go go go. Tips. Um, these are things that I learned while doing it, and also some were given to me by my other friends. So. The first thing you need to do is engage na kayo, okay? Mm. Oh, yay! Happy, happy. So, celebrate. Next day, first thing you do is, if you can, ha, get na the church, the venue. reception venue, and catering. Just, 
hanapin mo na yung tatlong gusto mo and then ask for the their availability on the date you want. Yung tatlong pinaka gusto mo, kung pwede sila sa same day, okay. Get? Kasi yeah, mahirap yeah. to get all three. So, kung ano, you want, um, let's say, you want uh, A, B, C venues. If A, B, C are all available on that date at that time, then the next step is to see, okay. Reserve mo na. You can just pencil book ah, yeah. it. Wala namang kailangan deposit eh. Reserve mo na and then you figure it out later on like with your budget and everything if kaya. But at least na-reserve mo na. Kasi okay. they really just get booked really fast. Choosing venue, my mm-hmm. thing is, here's a tip. Mm-hmm. If you want an intimate wedding. And if you can afford it. And if you can afford it. Well, honestly, mas mura pa talaga. Mm-hmm. If pumunta na lang kayo somewhere malayo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi automatically, you shed 30% of the people you have to invite. So you don't have to invite your dentist <laughs> nung grade 7 ka. You don't have to invite your tito who just is an asshole. Or you can and they wouldn't go. Yes. Because it's too far. <laughs> so parang if it's far, then at least, okay, automatically, you shed the people yeah. you don't want to go. Here were our options. Tagaytay. Bagyo. Tagaytay Bagyo. And Batanes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was our dream because it was pretty much, it was like a, it, it's like New Zealand. It was like yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. But it was just too expensive. And no. parang, who are we kidding? You know. So, yeah. so but if you, yeah, anyway, um, Tagaytay kasi, the, malamig. it's so, hindi kasi, sobrang pawisan ako talaga eh. So, basta kailangan, fresh ako. And ako, hindi ako makakapants. <laughs> <laughs> Kung mainit. Kung mainit. <laughs> Naka shorts ka. <laughs> I swear. As in like, if we did a beach wedding, I would Sobra. not wear pants until we're gonna go to the church na talaga. Siguro, papunta sa church, naka-boxer sa ko, tas pag, ah, okay, nandito na tayo sa church, doon ako magpa-pants. Kung beach wedding to, palakad pa lang doon sa venue. Hindi man lang yung walk down the aisle. Talagang, tagal na lahat ng makeup ko. but pa ako nag-makeup? Anyway, yeah. So, it was either Tagaytay or Baguio kasi yung malamig. But Tagaytay, why didn't we do that? Kasi, so, it was still, no, it was still, still too malapit. close. Malapit <laughs> May, pa ang, ang mahirap sa Tagaytay, ito. Makapunta pa rin si Dentist. yung mahirap sa Tagaytay wedding. Yung mga i-invite mo, pupunta sila, tapos, hindi sila magsistay to party, which is the fun part, yeah. right? Hindi sila makakasay to party because they have to ride back home because they're ch- too cheap to buy, to, to get a hotel. Well, it is really quite expensive. Kaya, yun naman yung point, eh, na parang, if ako, in-invite tayo ng wedding, na, to a wedding na, we don't, we're not close to that person. Let's say, it's, it's in Tagaytay. Mm-hmm. You have to spend. So, decline ka na lang. Yeah. Kwari, like, hindi, okay lang, hindi naman big deal. Yeah. That's, that's the beauty of I it. I think the, the couple would even appreciate yeah. you saying no. Oo. Yeah. Ayoko so, lang, yun lang, I just feel bad for the couples na, magbabayad sila tapos eat and run ka lang. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Yeah. Kasi, guys, guys, there ha- I've been to so many weddings na eat and run Makati, <laughs> punong-puno habang dinner. Tapos biglang when the, the most Dance important Florida. parts where the dad is giving the speech, the first dance, all these things, wala nang tao. Maybe that's why they do that before the dinner and then that's why people get so hungry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Which is what... You're held Is hostage. that what we did ba? No. They ate dinner first. I don't remember. No. So yun, while we've been saying na parang the marriage is the most important thing, I think we have to do a part two yeah. on how to plan, uh, how to actually plan the wedding na. Yeah. Na parang, to have a good wedding. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not saying we're the experts, pero a we're, good... We kind of a are. A good wedding kasi <laughs> is, a good wedding is where the couple... The couple... Sila yung priority because they're the ones getting married. But of course, you celebrate it with your guests. Especially if papapunta mo sa Baguio. You make sure na they're comfortable, they have cocktails, mm-hmm. they have food. I've been to a wedding na, kasi the best part of a wedding is the drinking. Yeah. Diba? Na pagdating ng drinks, wala. Yeah. Walang drinks. So, like, oh, oh my God, what, what's gonna happen? So that has to be a part two. We, we should also have a part two or part three of how to be a good wedding guest. Yes, right. and then Yeah. And then this is fun. We can talk about weddings all day. Maybe we should start a weddings coordination group joke. <laughs> no way. We'll put your gown and piss. <laughs> ah, ito. Dagdag ko lang sa part 2 sa bro hindi ka bida. Mm. There have been weddings na yun nga, it's so alienating because so it's under the category of bro di ka bida na 
inside jokes, especially if you're douchebags, keep it to yourself. Like, mga, oh, oh nga eh, sa Bangkok, diba? Or like, ayawang ko, kasi the first time nakilala ko si, ano, si, si ganyan, let's say, si, si, ako, kwane, let's say, I'm the best friend of Jim and Sab, uh-huh. I, of Jim, I'm the bro. I say, uh, ano yun, honestly, first time ko makilala si, si Sab, yung nga eh, uh, nasa, Poblasyon kami nun eh. Kasi wala naman kami ginagawa nun. Uh, nag-chill lang naman kami. Kasi good boys kami, di ba? <laughs> oh my like God, a... that is so fucking annoying. Meron my... talaga ganun. Yeah, I know, so I know. So madami ganun na. Kung ano, like the whole speech is about him partying with the dude. So we should actually give a part four of good speeches. Okay. Kasi it's a big thing eh. Yeah. Talagang... Like, kunwari, Manny gave the, our best man, Manny, Such a sweet. the best speech. But writing, it wasn't his forte. Mm-hmm. So he actually asked Ali mm-hmm. of Linya Linya, him. who's a writer, to help him. Yeah. He said what he felt. So yun nga, hindi siya naging... Bro, um... Stop it! I don't want to hear that voice ever again! <laughs> My God. I don't know, man. Because it's tumbling, tumbling. Eh. Si Sab naman kasi okay lang na uwi ng late. Wala naman kami ginagawa. Umuwi lang ng late. What is this persona? All the weddings we've been to. The, the, the so, douchey best man, whatever. So annoying. Um, nakalimutan ko na yung sabihin ko. That's it. So part two. It's coming soon. Uh, hashtag wake up with Jim and Sab. Tell us how you feel. Yeah. And if you missed it, we had a bonus episode just a few days ago. We had Nunki, yeah. uh, Jim's nine-year-old sister, as the guest. And she was so adorable. And we have to do a video episode with her. Yeah, we did a one, two, three deep dive on Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. So it's fun. Yeah. All right. That's it. Bye. Bye. Oh.